Hey guys, quick review here on the YT Capra. This is a Core 3 model from late 2022. Still with the Fox 38 front and Fox Float rear before they changed to the RockShox ones for 2023. Enjoying the Fox right now. Let me just explain to you what I've done to the bike and some changes I've made since I've got it. Um, obviously it comes with Asagai tire, thank God. This thing is awesome. Um, I put on a mud guard which is the half half one, not the, not the full one. I'm actually just doing some exploring now in the Vernon area, by the way. Um, then I put on the ODI thicker grips, which I like those ones. And then on the, all the bolts across the whole bike, I've put on um, lips, lips, no, it's um, nail polish on all the different bolts to know that they are tightened to the right torque. So I don't know, whenever I do a bolt check, I just look at all the, look at all the paint and I don't, don't actually have to re -talk them every time. I've got a quad lock on the front here with the black color scheme, which I love, especially when I'm doing like exploring, exploratory type rides. Um, and then here, I'm, I ride moto style, so left, left brake goes to the rear. And you'll notice the cable's going to the left side. Ideally, and I've asked the bike shop to move the cables from this side to that side, but the cabling inside the frame has got its own internal routing, so you can't actually change that. So inside the frame, there's, there, there are, there's pipes running um, that uh, that allow easy easy feeding, right? So this one, if you wanted to put it on that side, you couldn't. So this is interesting, but that's just apparently quite common with carbon frames these days. Uh, put on a one-up carbon bar. Oh, it's pretty nice. Um, Fox 38 fork's taken quite a while to set up and get a lot better so i've went i started at the factory settings so and, and what the manual says and i've gone a little bit lower on the high speed and low speed compression so a couple of clicks um a couple of clicks faster and then actually made a big difference so i'm still playing around with the fox fork i believe it's a bit of a finicky one to set up but once you do get it set up properly it's pretty nice so yeah looking forward to that it's all good i'm enjoying it right now got the little cable organizers here keeping that organized uh put on some of the decals that come with the bike some stuff up there. Um, running the nuke proof pedals, always had those. And then here I've got a little um, gearbox, it's called. It folds open with uh, some spares and things. I liked using that. The bottle mount is actually so off center. It's quite odd looking when you first start riding it. Your, because you know, there's one side of the frame on that side for, for stability, and they've opened the other side for a bottle cage, but. Uh, if you look at it from the rear, it's kind of kind of offset, which is a bit weird in the beginning, but you don't touch it anyway, so it's fine. Uh, the stock saddle is awesome that it comes with. It's about 142 mil wide. Good for the sit bones. I moved it all the way in the forward position. As you can see there, uh, the slight tilt down, I guess, um, so that it doesn't pinch you between the legs when you're climbing so much. Um, but really nice. The previous, the stock, my 2017 bike, had a 132 mil which I threw off immediately. So very good. The driver post is awesome. It's got infinite uh, setting size. The YT Postman. Uh, no issues there. It's really running well. Um, going to this side. Yeah, I'm just riding some. Obviously the Fox, the float is locked and unlocked. So that's in the lock position now because I'm riding on the these like farm roads, some whatever, trying to go for comfort. So that's open. The rear shock's been easy to set up. Really nice. Um, comes with everything else. I mean, the bike really ticks so many boxes. I've waxed the chain. I had a friend wax my chain, so none of the, I took off all the factory oil and stuff, and now it just stays dry um, all year round. Um, I find these little things sometimes have fallen off because I've lost one of them already. This is the frame um, cable if it's not being used. So there's a little one over there. So just really make sure they're pushed in all the way, especially on these ones as well. Um, here again is my markings on my with the lipstick. Sorry, I keep saying lipstick, it's nail polish. Um, yeah, 12 by the back and it's 52 tooth, unreal. Very nice. Overall, I'm loving it. This bike actually climbs better as a, as a 170 mil, 165 mil trail bike, like Enduro bike. Climbs a lot better than my 2017 Jeffsy, which is 140 mil. So, incredible how it climbs. So, really recommend. Um, 
I think that's about it. Great bike. Highly recommend. Oh, and by the way, here. Yeah. I just noticed now on the sides I put the, the tapes because my back of my feet rub against that, so just to protect the paint. Um, here's some more of my nail polish, my wipes. Um, she's a real beauty. Let me know what you guys think.